much of this improved environment that, that you put out today, both in the quarter and in the outlook, has to do with the fact that, you know, we've recovered from all the stores being closed and the economies are slowly reopening? And how much of it is, is Under Armour specific and some of the measures you've put in place to try to turn this company around? I think it's a combination of, of both things. I think as the consumer was able to get back into stores right after the uh, store started opening up in June, and then as we had a kind of a different back to school that didn't really happen in the normal fashion, it was kind of a prolonged into September uh, uh, kind of bleed of, of the back to school. We were able to capitalize on what we've been working on for over three years, which is executing our business better. We also had inventory that was still left from, from Q2 that we were able to meet demand with. So I think it's a combination. We've seen the consumer return, not at the same levels as before, but when they're in the stores and when they're shopping, not just for us, but also for our wholesale accounts, they are converting better. They're buying more. So uh, some buying. analysts are concerned, Patrick, that inven inventories remain still high, elevated at double digits. Why? What, what, what is that? What is the reason behind that? And how does it affect the, the results going forward? Yes, yeah, Sarah, they're, they're high in, in terms of being double digit, but we're feeling very comfortable with our, with our inventory levels. Some of that is still a little bit of, of bleed in from, from Q2. Uh, but, but the reality is it's, we have a lot of good inventory sitting there uh, and we're able to, we believe, uh, get rid of a lot of that inventory in, in Q, Q4. So we've, we're feeling pretty good about our inventory levels right now. And I think if you look at our track record over the last couple of years, we've been able to manage inventories very well, also through this pandemic. So um, I would not be too concerned about our inventory levels now, uh, especially not if you look forward and, and think about uh, the turn from Q4 into 2021. And the obvious question here is, can this momentum that, that you've shown continue? And you did issue guidance during a very uncertain time with, with rising caseloads and mixed consumer spending indications. What do you see in front of you for the all-important holiday quarter? Yeah, I think for all of us that, that, are, that are right now dealing with this pandemic, I think it, it's, you know, pending on what happens with the pandemic, but, but we believe that if the current trajectory continues for our brand and, and with the consumer, we're going to continue to do better. Uh, we've prepared for this for a long time, over the last three years. we become a better company. We operate better. We're able to get the right stuff to the right place, the right time. And our go-to-market, if you remember on our last earnings call, we were very, very adamant that we were going to continue to drive our innovation pipeline. We've been able to do that through Q3 with great success, both in footwear and apparel, in, in men's and in women's, and across our different regions. And we're not slowing down in Q4. So we believe we're prepared and ready for holiday. We have the right product in the right place. Um, so we're feeling good about the momentum right now. And we're feeling good about also when we look around the corner into 21, that momentum continuing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.